Welcome back to Movies with Mom. Sorry. I always feel weird when I have to do an intro. Welcome back to Movies with Mom. No. Hi, welcome back to Movies with Mom. That was crap. It just uh, sounds so weird introducing myself. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Elizabeth. I'm a mom and I like to watch movies, but my perspective has changed since having kids. Like I can no longer handle any scary movie. B scary movies I can handle. Like I love Alien. I did not call Alien a B movie. I guess I could see how it would see, like I said, Alien is a B movie, but I did not. Alien is not a B movie. It's an excellent film and I love it. But today I'm going to be reacting to Rain Man. It was a special request from a Patreon member. I saw Rain Man years ago and I remember that it was good, but I don't remember anything else about it. I know it's Tom Cruise, Dustin Hoffman. And so if you enjoy my reactions, consider liking, subscribing, following, sharing, and uh, check out our Patreon page where you can see the full reactions. I hope you enjoy. And there's like a 90% chance at some point my baby daughter will join also if you see a wardrobe change it is because i fell asleep and we had to start recording again the next night so it'll be entertaining thank you for joining us ah i'm just kidding <laughs> Well, these are sounds of my childhood, aren't they? My grandma with your grandma. Sitting by the fire. My grandma said to your grandma, you better set this song on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now. I go, I go on day. I would take a guess as to what that car is, but I would be wrong. And is it a Lamborghini? I cannot see the symbol. I told you I've never dealt with these Lamborghinis right. and you assured me that you could mm -hmm. deliver these cars within that time frame. Well, uh, come on, come on, I need this. Come on. I, I wouldn't do that, sir, until you talk to Mr. Babbitt personally. Yes. Uh, a number for him? Uh, no, he's on the road just now. She wants you to call him immediately. Charlie, they want the down payments back. They found two cars at Valley Motors and they want to go that way. You paying attention? Yeah, I am. You paying attention? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. All right, now tell them also that I'm knocking off five grand on both... Yeah, the uh, cars are uh, passing the missions. And... Uh, what am I saying? The cars have passed. And because of your incredible patience, $5,000 on each car. Appreciate your, your patience. Well, <laughs> thank you. I am not a risk taker. I do not think I would head on vacation if I'm stressed like that about work. Okay, you want to talk? Let's talk. How was your day? talk? I feel no, like you're talk. excluding me from what's... This is not talking. This is you going like... Yeah. Your father has died, Charlie. Charlie? Uh-huh. I'm sorry. The funeral's tomorrow in Cincinnati. Anything else? Oh, that's it. Listen, Charlie, if there's anything I can... All right, look, I told you before. We had a falling out a long time ago. My mother died when I was two. It was just him and me. We, you know, we just... We just didn't get along. You're going to the funeral, huh? Yeah. I'm coming with you. Sorry, I forgot who I was talking to. Interesting relationship. Although we see them, him in a very stressful situation. He drove all the way to Cincinnati. We're talking Palm Springs, California, right? Did he ask her to wait in the car? Ooh. 1949 Buick Roadmaster convertible. Only 8,000 production models made. Straight eight. Fireball eight. Is that why he went into car sales? The car was off limits to me. That's a classic he'd say. It commands respect. It's not for children. I bring home a report card and it's almost all A's. I go to my old man. Can I take the car out? He says no. I take it anyway. I steal the keys. I sneak it out. Why then? Because I, I deserved it. Nothing I did was good enough for this guy. We get pulled over. Woo, woo, 
Dude! What is pulled over, police? Yes, police. Can I finish? Report of a stolen He's very car. short with her. He left you in prison for two days? Ooh. Two days. Left home, I never saw him again. Oh. After a year we've been together, this is the first time I've heard this story. When I was a kid and I got scared, the rain man would come and sing to me. You know, one of those imaginary childhood friends. But your failure to write, to telephone, to re-enter my life in any way has left me without a son. I hereby bequeath to my son that certain Buick convertible, also outright title to my prize-winning hybrid rose bushes. It means that the estate, in excess of $3 million, will go into a trust fund for a beneficiary to be named in this document. Who controls the money? You? You control the no, money? No, it's called a trustee. And see that you're disappointed. Disappointed? Why should I be disappointed? I got rose bushes, didn't I? Great. Right, right, beneficiary. He got $3 million, but he didn't get the rose bushes. I got the rose bushes. I definitely got the rose bushes. Charles. I definitely got the rose bushes. <laughs> Seems like his dad is trying to teach a lesson even beyond the grave. He seems to be keeping a distance from her. Maybe he keeps a distance from a lot of people, though. Can I help you? Trust yes, issues, you maybe. I have a problem with a private trust. My father was sent for that. Sneaky, sneaky. Whatever this is, I don't understand the point of secrecy. I mean, Mr. Babbitt, I knew your father since you were two years old. I took on this burden out of loyalty to your father. That's where my loyalty ends. Are you sure that you drive this car? Of course, it's only 28 miles on the odometer since I drove it a week ago last Saturday. I always drive the car on Saturday, never drive on Monday. What is this? Who is this guy? Why'd you, why'd you let him get in this car? She it's not a choice. The seats were originally brown leather. Now they're pitiful red. You know, these seats were brown leather. Oh, I think he found the beneficiary. You know this car? Who's your dad? Sanford Babbitt. Who? Sanford Babbitt? 10961B. Who's your mother? Eleanor Babbitt. Who is this guy? Raymond is your brother. Big couple days for him, isn't it? Dad died. Found out he had a brother. Doesn't get inheritance. Is he retarded? Not exactly. He's not crazy, he's not retarded, but he's here. Well, he's an autistic savant. They have certain deficiencies, certain abilities. Autistic? Actually, high functioning. Because why didn't anybody tell me I had a brother? What would you have done about it? Does he know? How much money he's been with? No, he doesn't understand the concept of money. That's probably even he's more just, infuriating. Whoever gets nervous does who's on first. You know, from Abbott and Costello? Yeah, why? <laughs> why? It's his way of dealing with you touching things. Oh, oh nice oh, book collection. Oh, oh, oh Vern, be your fan. Of course, of course. Put it back. He said not to touch the books. Not to touch books. You like Shakespeare, Ray? I don't know. I don't know, Vern. You read Hamlet? Oh, he's not being Vern. very nice to him, is he? Night? Stop it. I won't touch anything else, Ray. It's okay, Ray. Here, here's your cards. I'm sorry, I didn't know where you wanted to put them. <laughs> you want to show your brother your ducks? Of course, it's 27 minutes of Jeopardy. We'll bring him right back. Listen, our father died. Do you know that he died last week? Did they tell you that? I don't know. You know, I live in Los Angeles. I thought maybe you'd go to Los Angeles like to see a Dodger game go. See Fernando Valenzuela pitch. Fernando Valenzuela. What is Saturday. his I'm angle? To pitch to Wednesday. Well, I'm not doing anything on Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Let's go to LA. Yeah. <sighs> Why is he kidnapping him? Vern, stop him. From here on, I don't remember anything. So far, he does not have. Ray's best interest at heart. He is not equipped to take care of him. I have to go back to Walbert. told you that you should do this? Huh? It doesn't make sense to me. I know what's good for him. Uh oh. Uh-oh, B-E-R-M. Just get him some dinner. He'll be all right. What, what'd you say? You wanted hamburger? Wheel of fortune. Look at this studio filled with glamorous merchandise. On wheel of fortune. Yeah, room service will be 21. So the tapioca pudding, you got tapioca pudding? Well, just bring the closest thing. All right. Closest thing. Here, Ray. Ah. Food is coming. Yeah. 
Maybe I should just give him the benefit of the doubt. A lack of understanding of his brother's needs. But also, there's a lot of selfishness and immaturity, right? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I think this is about to be a new experience for everybody in the room. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie Babbitt. Well, get out! Uh-oh. There were noises. Well, those noises are none of your business. You understand that? Put the phone book down. Stop acting like an idiot. Go to sleep. Oh. Lights out at 11. Yeah, well, new rules. Oh. Ugh. Why is he here? Because I'm pissed at him. At all? Uh, at my father. This makes no sense! Raymond was left all the money, and I got nothing. How much? Three million dollars, the inheritance. Every penny of it. So it is a kidnapping. Just take it easy here. What? You've had enough? What does that mean, you've had enough? Just, yes. You're leaving me now? I need you. Are you crazy? Yeah, it runs in the family. What? You're wet. Soaking wet, you're going to leave in the middle of the night. I agree with her, but also, if she leaves, who's there to make sure he doesn't, like, really damage his brother? Good morning. Coffee? Yes, sir. Oh, it's Bonnie Hunt. Sally gets one oh, oh, one nine two. How did you know my phone number? How'd you know that? She said read the telephone book last night. Tip Sally. <laughs> he uh, remembers things, little things sometimes. You memorize the whole book? No. How far did you get? G. You memorized to G. Yeah, G. That's incredible. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Of course, I don't have my toothpick. No, you don't need toothpicks. If we're going to be here the entire morning with no, with no maple syrup right. and, 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 no, and no toothpicks. I'm definitely, definitely not right. going to not gonna have my... Ow! Don't Aww. Ow! Uh-oh. He just makes it worse. <laughs> serious, serious injury yeah. this, Charlie Babbitt? Squeezed and pulled and hurt my neck in 1988. It's like he has a little hit Charlie list. <laughs> it's cute. I'm not making it's fun. It's cute. $0.5 million. I'm not greedy. Oh, I just gosh, he cap. really Raymond, is don't, don't touch that. It's dirty. I can't do that, Mr. Babbitt. kidnapping him. Well, I'm his brother. It's, uh, it's not like kidnapping here, is it? The fact of the matter is, mm -hmm. this is where he can get the best care. We're talking about his well-being. Because he needs toothpicks. Could you help him get him some toothpicks? Thank you very much. He needs some toothpicks. Can we just get him some toothpicks over yeah. here? See He's just like call. unraveling now. <sighs> Another check. A2, A2, A2. It's a lot more than two toothpicks, right? 246 total. Give the change. 250. Pretty close. Come on, let's go, Ray. There's four left in the box. Is he driving him all the way I back to that. Los Angeles? Bang. Or is he just like hanging the close? The future of rock and roll. The future of rock and roll. I'll be in LAX in three hours, okay? I have a lot of thoughts about Charlie Babbitt. But I think I'll save it for the end because it's too much to say while watching it. But just at face value, he's not very nice to really anybody. Not his girlfriend, definitely not his brother. Uh-oh. We're in an airport. People fly out of airports. What do you think we were doing here this whole time? Yeah, flying's very dangerous. This is very serious, Ray. Yeah, very serious. You see, I have to get to Los Angeles, right? So you're gonna get well, on a plane. Well, you can plane. take you him back me? to his house. You're gonna or, have to get on a plane. You know, yeah, his get home. on a plane. Yeah. All airlines Expansion. have crashed at one time yeah. or another. That doesn't mean that they are not safe. Qantas. Qantas? Qantas never crashed. <laughs> Qantas? Doesn't have fly to Australia? You have got to get to Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, Australia, See? in order to get the plane that flies to Los Angeles. I've flown Qantas before. No, no. <laughs> He's okay. We're not going to take the plane. Just wow. Just, just relax. He was. Gosh, how many times do I okay. want to respond like okay. that when I'm afraid or something? Though, as weird as we perceive okay. that to be, yeah. a lot of us feel like that, right? Take the I gotta be in LA in three hours. It's gonna take me three days. No fly. No fly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, there's definitely a fatal accident uh -huh. over there. Ray? What's hey. gonna be? Hey, I hope we don't need your help up here. What's it gonna be, Ray? What's it gonna be? This is a very dangerous highway. You wanna get off the highway, Zach? Will that make you happy? Yeah. I was yeah, kind of thinking that when he was car. talking about the airplanes. Give me five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's a freak. Guy's a freak. Uh, you know what? He dug this hole that he's in. 
He didn't have to kidnap his brother. That's a man's thing. I'm not asking who's on second, who's on first. Of course, I have to be in bed by 11, by lights out at 11. This is a good one. We don't go out when it rains. This is a real good one, Ray. I hope you appreciate this because... If things go your way, you'll get your one and a half million, right? And then you won't have to worry about your business. Thank you. Is there any way I can get an extension on that loan? Just a couple of days. Wait, where's those fish sticks? Fish sticks. Pause, 1231. I gotta go. He's starting to rock and moan. Yeah. Starting to rock and moan. The last word in the Pledge of Allegiance. Mark, We're seeing little yeah, glimpses for the custody here. of Stu, I want a firm Ray's and I want intelligence. A Toothpicks, he is able to remember patterns, mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge. Well, here from, tell her to call me at this number. He's pretty extraordinary. It's been all day. Will the rain stop and then it's going to be 11 where he wants to go to bed? That's beautiful. Of course, I'm an excellent driver. You know how to drive? Yeah. Is that in the car, right? Yeah. He let you drive the Buick? Yeah, slow on the driveway. That's gotta bother him. Well, we'll have to let you drive sometime. Raymond, Raymond! You oh. never, never touch the steering wheel when I'm driving. Do you? What? I'm definitely not wearing my underwear. <laughs> what are you talking about? I gave you a fresh pair of mine. Yeah, you hear me. I know you hear me. You Maybe he thinks you don't hear him. I'm hear gonna be shortless. <laughs> Burnett. We have to buy him back into back. Uh oh. Put your put your shorts on the highway. <laughs> Let's go back to Cincinnati. Oh, where's he going? I thought I saw him walk away. Oh, it says don't walk. Oh, and he takes things literally. Hey, buddy. Hey, you. You're gonna get oh, run over. Oh, hey. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. He's yes. Yeah, so said, "Don't walk." Yes, it's broken. He said, "Don't walk." Broken for him. These cheese balls. So, young man, go away. During that period of time, what was known as a Pony Express. I love hearing older people talk about life. I could just sit and listen to that kind of stuff all all day. There's got to be something that I can do here. If he's getting on your nerves, you just take a break. Out of curiosity, does he have any special abilities? He spilled a box of toothpicks on the floor, and he took one look at him and knew exactly how many there were, and he counted them in seconds. Huh. Ray, can we try something? Yeah. Do you know how much 312... Five three five nine two six two. He's a genius, That's right? Whoa. He's a genius, Ray. Do you know how much the square root of two thousand one hundred thirty is? Four six point one five one nine two three zero oh, four. That's amazing. That's amazing. I mean, that is amazing. He should work for NASA or something like that. Ray, do you know how much a candy bar costs? About a hundred dollars. You know how much one of those new compact cars costs? About a hundred dollars. So it doesn't extend to He's money. Well He's very high functioning. Yeah, well, they want to take out the manifold and the carburetors in order to put in a fuel injection system. When we get to L.A., a little custody hearing. My lawyer's setting it up right now. You know why there's a party for you? Because you're the $3 million man. Uh-oh, fart. Fart. Uh-oh, fart. 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 Did you fuck it? <laughs> How can you stand that? I don't mind it. Let me start on a button. It definitely start on a button. I mean, before streaming services, I remember, okay, got to get to the TV by this time. What is going on out here? I'm sorry, ma'am. That, that man right there is my brother. And if he doesn't get to watch people's corn in about 30 seconds, he's going to throw a fit right here in your porch. We like to watch cartoons. You think he'd settle for that? True, he Probably didn't not. have a shirt on. The other one did. My credit card's been rejected. Yes, sir. Just a couple of more days, Ray. Yeah, you know the fellow's name? Yeah, then who's playing first? I mean, the fellow playing first base for St. Louis. Oh, you do I the grew up in St. Louis. That's a man's Go Cardinals. I mean, you're never going to figure out who's on first base because who is on first base? Yeah. It's a joke, right? It's comedy. I think he comedy. knows that. It's just yeah, something first, yeah. that he repeats, kind of like how he repeats the openings of, like, Wheel of Fortune. He's such a good actor. Ray, remember when that doctor asked you those questions today? The number question? Step down, will you? What's the matter? I'm trying to talk to you. Just let him finish when brushing stop, his teeth. Yeah, funny rain, yeah, funny teeth. 
What'd you say? Rain Man. Yeah. I said Rain Man? Yeah, funny Rain Man. Was I trying to say Raymond and it came out Rain Man? Yeah. Now you? I know why that's the Rain title. Man? Who took this picture? T.A.D. And you lived with us? When, mm -hmm. when, when, did, when did you leave? He says just after Mom died, New Year's. Yeah, yeah Mom died. But was I there? Where was I? What, what, you, you, where, you, were, what? you were in the window. You, you waved to me. Bye-bye, Rain Man. Bye-bye, oh. Rain Man. You were the one that sang to me? Could I dance with another? Ooh, I saw. You like the Beatles? Yeah. Oh, very bad! Very bad! Water! Ah! Hot water burn, baby? Water Me? Yeah! Easy. Hot water burn. Oh, I'm not burning. That was intense. I'm not burning, man. How about Walt Brook now? That's why I put you away. That you hurt me. Hmm. What? His brother cared about him so much. This whole time, he struggled because he hasn't felt love by his dad. And now he's finding out that his brother really, truly loved and cared for him. Oh my gosh. But why did his dad keep it from him? Oh my goodness. Now he sees his brother differently. Now I just want to hear Toto music. I hear the drums are going tonight. These people back or it's all over. We're out of business. Oh. I don't know. Huh. That's what his brother always says. I don't know. No, I don't want you to burn. Yeah. Definitely like it when it's the, when it pops out. Ow. All right, wow. how does that feel? Very slippery. Mm -hmm. Very slippery. Oh, but that was a caring thing to do. Are we seeing the character arc happening in real time? Is Vegas? I just saw the neon lights and I assumed Vegas. And I was right. I've been there. It's a lot different now than it did when this was filmed. Give me a break with this. I can't. Can't. Ray, stop it. J7. What's J7? The song? The song's J7? Yeah. 18 wheels and a dozen roses. What, what, uh, what's the number? D5. Cheating heart, Hank Williams. Hank Williams Jr. D1. How many toothpicks came out of that box, Raymond? 246. You seeing that, Ray? You catching that? Yeah, falling on yeah? the way. Okay, yeah. now what what do I have left? Two jacks, one eight, one king, one six. Two aces, one ten, one nine, one five. You are beautiful, man. Uh oh. Now, come on, say it. Tens are good. Tens are good. Okay, you're gonna bet one. One of it's bad. Card counting. That's good. That's right. Two of them. Counting. How's counting this gonna work? Oh no, is he gonna lose him? You can drive wherever you oh gosh. I'm not gonna like this scene, am I? <laughs> They're putting him in a suit. <laughs> They're twinning. So you have 18. You don't want to hit. He doesn't want to hit. Hit Definitely me. Want to hit. He hit me. Don't, hit. don't. You took my queen, Ray. I mean, I can't take Sir, your queen. Sir, please don't touch the card, babe. There's lots of There's lots of them? Lots and lots of them. I double down. Queen. Yes, sir. Oh. You gotta love this town. But there are so many cards. How can he know what's left? That's good. Okay, quit while you're ahead. I would be terrible at gambling. All I do is do the bubble craps. That's it. Uh, quit while you're ahead, please. What's your secret, guys? Tape, table 47. 
5,000. Yeah. Call the eye in the sky. Oh, Sam did. All right. Doing well. What do you see? Like, you know there's no one in the world can count it to a six-deck shoot. Wow. Watch my chips. I'm going to be back in a second. Go right ahead, sir. Come on, Ray. Put all this grand yeah, little, little, merchandise. Little, uh, well, one for bad, two for good, yeah. huh? $3,000 on 20. Uh-oh. <laughs> Such a game, Ray. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cash in. Yeah, cash in. Make me sad, Ray. Oh, come on. Look at how much he got you. Until I get back, the sign says don't walk. Don't walk. Don't walk. Mm -hmm. You like me? I, I don't know. He doesn't yeah. have any money, honey. Let's go upstairs, Ray. What are you doing, man? Getting, getting to know each other. Uh -huh. This will be interesting. Yeah. I'll be over here <laughs> just in case. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't seem to like me. Who is he? he? He's my brother. I'm living in his room. What exactly do you guys do here? We're counting cards. You're counting cards, dude. Are you taking any prescription medication? <laughs> Whoa. Look, I'm out of here. 10 o'clock, daylight saving time. You look fantastic, Ray. How can you not like that suit? It's not a Kmart suit. Let me let you know a little secret, Ray. Yeah. Kmart sucks. It's a high roller suite. You ever seen a room like this before? Yeah. That's a bed. That's your bed. I had him put it up there especially for you, right by the window, just the way you like it. Oh, those lights, Aww. Ray. Mr. Vegas, you are Mr. Las Vegas. Save my ass. Be bar at 10 o'clock. Have to go with a date with Iris. Yeah, go dancing. Yeah. You're not gonna have to dance on this. They definitely have to learn how to dance now for the date. Come over here. Yeah. Now, you hear the music? Yeah, just do what I'm doing. Now, you're the guy, so you're gonna have to lead, all right? This is okay. sweet. Right, that's good. But well, something gonna bad's dance. gonna happen. Okay, because you gotta touch someone when you dance. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, start looking up. This is dancing. This is dancing. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel a little sick. What was it like in between scenes with those two? With filming? Now I have to go look up the behind the scenes. You are a good dancer. Yeah. You want to give me a hug? Yeah. Oops. Hmm. Wanted to give you a hug, Ray. I... Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I'm unemployed. Come on, come on in. It's okay. Is that Ginger Rogers and, Rogers and Fred Astaire? But what does your date look like, Ma'am? Huh? She's very sparkly. Mr. Babbitt, uh, Mr. Kelso would like to see you. Right this way. Certainly. Counting into a six-deck shoe is quite a feat. I'm afraid I don't understand what you're talking about. Now, these tapes suggest that you should take your winnings and leave the state. Is this how you treat all your guests? Did you want to dance on your day three? Yeah. Mm. Uh-oh. Would you like to dance with me? Yeah. Elevator's on hold. Show me how. Yeah, Charlie Babbitt talking. You're very good. That's so sweet. Have you ever kissed a girl? I don't know. And very soft. Yeah. Mm. Close your eyes. Okay. Yeah. How was that? Wet. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you you could drive? This is it. This is okay. You can drive. Of course, I'm an excellent driver. It's very good in the drive. I love it. He's driving. Thank you for the date in the elevator. It was really nice. Yeah. Ciao. Yeah. Thank you for the one. One. Not... It's not just another place, Ray. This is. It's my place. Nice to you. Who's... So who gets it? Why shouldn't he? Sometimes his wife comes down and collects it. Who's wife? Yes. This is funny, Ray. Don't you think this is funny? Yes, yeah, it's funny. I guess I didn't read as funny. Definitely not. <laughs> I gave him boxes of files on Raymond. Who's watching boxes. Raymond? Oh, good luck. Look, this isn't a close call, son. You know, I asked you a week ago, why didn't anyone ever tell me I had a brother? 
It's funny, I just realized I'm not pissed off anymore. My father cut me out of his will. My brother, why didn't anyone ever tell me that I had a brother? Because it'd been nice to know him for more than just the past six days. Who's his brother? Uh-oh. Have a seat over there, Mr. Bat. Why don't you go to the side of the table, Raymond? Right here. Now, cool. Exactly what happened this past week, Raymond? Well, we we got was, to know I was each asking other. Asking Raymond, counted cards. Counted cards in Las Vegas. Brother took you to Las Vegas. What else did you do? Dance with Charlie Babbitt. Dance with your brother. You want to learn how to dance? So I talked. Dance in the elevator with Susanna. Did you enjoy kissing a woman? How did it feel? That that felt wet. Wet? Yeah. <laughs> Quite a trip, huh? Yeah. I'm an excellent driver. You drove? Yeah. Hmm. Did he have any emotional outbursts this past week? What do you mean? Uh, a couple of times. A couple of times? Okay, he had what you call an outburst at the airport. I could tell you anything, I could tell you nothing, and you, you, you'd you never know the difference. Well, I don't... I mean, this morning the smoke alarm went off, mm -hmm. he got a little nervous, but he's fine. All right, I, 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 look, I don't think you have to be fine. defensive of saying I had a father fault. I hardly knew, a mother I didn't know at all. I found out a few days ago that I have a brother and I want to be with him, and I'm, I'm supposed to give him up? Uh, no one is saying anything, I, and there's no need to be that emotional I didn't hurt about him. That. He's not capable of having a relationship with you. It's your opinion. Did you spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week with him? Have you ever done that? The last week you were upset, and then this week you've suddenly found some devotion to your brother, and you want to take care of him for the rest of your life. Yes. So in the beginning, it was like a kidnapping. Kidnapping. That's very strong. But in the you course know, of the week, you came to have an understanding with him. Can that, I you know, talk? I mean, yes, I, you I'd can. Like, I'd like to talk. That when we started out together, that he was only my brother in name. And this morning, we had pancakes. Maple syrup. Maple syrup on the... And Charlie Babbitt made a joke. I made a connection. But I think the purpose of this meeting is to determine what is best for Raymond and what, in fact, he wants, if that's possible to determine. Raymond's unable to make those kind of decisions. He's capable of a lot more than you know. Yeah. Raymond, can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. Raymond, do you want to stay with your brother, Charlie? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Can I ask you something else, Raymond? Yeah. You want to go back to Walbrook? Yeah. Can you make a distinction between your brother and Walbrook? Uh, two separate things. Yeah, Stay okay. with your brother Stay or go, with back brother, go back to the wall. All right, all right. Major point. Dr. Bruner, can I talk to you for a minute? I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to talk to you again. I like having you for my brother. I'm an excellent driver. I like having you for my big brother. C-H-A-R-L-I. Is he sending him back? Oh, Charlie, do you feel a little more relaxed in your favorite Kmart clothes? Kmart sucks. I see. <laughs> Look, I have the tickets. Don't you take a couple of minutes? See you. you made a joke, Ray. Yeah. <laughs> oh! I also didn't realize that he didn't watch that, that he was just repeating it from a book. So that's interesting. Coming to see you in two weeks. 336 hours. Which has 20,160 minutes. With one million two hundred nine thousand six hundred six hundred seconds. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Can you saw the pictures he took. Okay, I'm not disappointed by the ending. However, I wish we would have at least caught a glimpse of them reuniting after those two weeks. I just think it would have been cute. That was really good though. I think one main takeaway that I had as I was watching was how similar Raymond is to raise kids. You know, I, I think, but we as parents, or at least I, as a parent, try not to get too upset at my kids because they're being kids. But when you have somebody who's 
looks like an adult and stuff, but is acting like a child. I could understand, you know, the frustration because it's hard to see an adult and understand that they have a mind of a child. You just kind of want them to, I guess we'll say, snap out of it. So you've got Charlie Babbitt, who is just kind of, I think, entitled, maybe? I don't know if that's the best word. You know, he's living this life, looked to be pretty high stress, and then also he didn't get the love he needed from his dad. He lost his mom. And so I just don't think maybe he knew how to be affectionate or how to care for somebody. And then he's thrust into finding out that he has a brother and he greedily kidnaps him to get the money that he kind of thought he deserved. Or maybe he didn't even think he deserved it. He just wanted it. And then he learned to nurture and take care of somebody else that really needed it and kind of overcame his pride. And it was a really good character arc. I mean, it showed... Charlie Babbitt proved that he really cared about him in the end when he, for lack of a better word, allowed him to go back to where, you know, the hospital. I think that showed, like, true love for his brother, that he wanted what's best for him. Also, Dustin Hoffman is a chameleon, right? Like, he could play Hook, Tootsie, Raymond. And it was during the scene when he and Tom Cruise were dancing. And I was just thinking, I'm really watching the same guy that played Hook? That's insane. <laughs> Let's not forget The Graduate, too. He's had a good career. Thank you to our Patreon member that recommended it. It was really good. I'm just really tired. That's why my emotion seems drained. But I am very grateful for this recommendation. Thank you. <laughs>